So we got a 2005 excursion here. Came in because the AC compressor had locked up, uh, the pulley on it locked up. Up until that point, I was told it, you know, worked just fine. Must have made a hell of a racket, you know, before that pulley actually seized on the bearing. Uh, anyway, so I just replaced the compressor. So while I had it apart, I uh, put an orifice tube in it. This is what the orifice tube or the restrictor tube looks like. Nothing in it. So the system, it had the proper amount of charge. So, I mean, I have to fill it to diagnose it. So I recharged it um, and I wasn't getting any cooling out of the back, out of the rear AC. This is uh, really two systems in one. In the front, we have the restrictor tube. And in the back, we have an a, a H valve or a, a thermal expansion valve. And so, you know, what the heck's going on back there? So I pulled, pulled the valve, pulled the system down again, pulled the valve out, and I probably got, because I flushed the evaporator out back there, I probably got about seven ounces of oil out of that thing. So. Uh, when I put the compressor on, I always dump the compressor out, and that's what's going back in. If I get five milliliters out of it, that's, that's all that's going back in. And that's one of the problems here with AC is everybody wants to add oil to them. And, you know, the, the only moving part in this whole system really, I mean, your expansion valve moves, but is the compressor. And it doesn't need that much oil. Yeah, it moves around the system, but it, the oil is constantly should be constantly circulating through the system, you know, pushing oil through the system. And if you have a bunch of oil accumulated in your condenser or in your evaporators, if you have too much oil in there, you don't have enough refrigerant and it's not gonna cool properly. So anyway, uh, got that taken care of. I am gonna replace the H valve because they're pretty cheap and uh, put it back together with some new O-rings, charge it up and it should be just fine. So back to the oil, stop adding oil to these systems. When you buy a compressor, generally nowadays they come, like I bought a brand new compressor, came with a full charge of oil. And you know, the instructions tell you to dump the oil out, measure what's in there, and put that amount back in. Well, a lot of people don't do that. And then every time you go to Jiffy Loop, it, because you got a leak somewhere, you know, they're always adding oil to it. So you have all this oil in your AC system and why it isn't cooling, so stop putting oil in them. And if you do put oil in them, put in the proper amount, you know, after you flush everything out or replace components. Um, I hate refrigerant oil because I find these, I had one the other day at Chevrolet, it had so much freaking oil in it. You know, if I would have added up what I spilled and what I actually got out of it, it was like three times the amount of oil that the system is supposed to have in it. Well, yeah, it doesn't work because, you know, the condenser is plugged up with oil, you know, and that oil is not, isn't refrigerant. So anyway, my rant's over. I just wanted to add here on uh, leak detection. You don't need a fancy leak detector. Uh, most vehicles with R134 in them coming from the factory you know, throughout the 2000s would have had some dye in the, you know, in the system. So, and you can buy dye and add dye, especially if you're diagnosing a system and you have to take it apart, you know, several times. So, uh, this one has some pretty flamboyant dye in it. Somebody added to it before me, but let's see what this looks like. I mean, you can see that, you know, see the bright green with this, under this UV light. So if we go back here and look at this. Let's see. Let's turn that off. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I'll clean that all off. I'm going to replace those O-rings, of course. This is where the thermal expansion valve goes. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious where your leak is, you know, if you'll... You can just inject some dye into the system and it doesn't hurt anything and you're gonna be able to find your leak. So without having a fancy temperamental leak detector. Anyway, 
Thanks.